Here we go. Hello, everybody. Welcome to uh, this Google Summer of Code 2023 office hour. Welcome, everybody. Uh, we're here to do a roundup where we're standing with Google Summer of Code. We're also going to propose a date for um, the uh, end of GSOC presentation of uh, what has been done and check if uh, all is okay. So first of all, what is happening on your side? What were you able to achieve, discover, learn, or have trouble with? And uh, what is ahead of you in the coming week? I think you know how we how we handle that. Chakruti, you're the first one. I, I'd like to know why. Is it because of the alphabet? No, I, I, I don't know why. So you're always the first one. And with your, your smile, I like it very much. So Chakruti, share with us what is happening. Hello, everyone. So the task I was working on last week has almost been completed. And this week, since most of my mentors are on vacation, so I really am reading mostly about OOPS concept. And also I was thinking of the next task that I have to work on. I think in, in one is back to be able to guide. So maybe I by this weekend, I will complete one of the another new task. That's all from my side. Mostly I'm self-learning this week. Okay, good. Things. Yeah, a lot of things to discover. Well, well done. Yes. I wish you a lot of courage and to enjoy what you're going to learn. So thank you. Well done. Antoine, do you want to share something on your side or was a resume from Jakruti well enough? Go ahead. Yeah, uh, everything looks good. Uh, I was indeed at the office, so I was not able to like provide that much information. But I did review some code, and I need to have a look for the next task. I saw a question, the question on Gitter, but I didn't get time to answer yet. So I'm going to do that as soon as possible. Okay, so everything is moving. Work to do, and with this period of holidays, um we we need to to organize things good i need to tell people not to message me while i'm on meeting because it's disturbing me i am a single threaded computer so okay next one in a row is harsh harsh you also have a nice smile so how are things going on your side yeah i have a smiling face what to do so yeah for for the for my project like the production code is almost uh, like almost ready mark is currently on a vacation so the interactive testing has stopped like i myself interactively tested some bit of it like the proxy ones uh, using the cli but yeah it's it's fine the production is fine i i and chris are working on the automated tests they are getting fixed even if they're quite hard to fix but they are getting fixed by time and i hope that i'll be able to fix the automated tests before the project like deadline that's Ooh. that's it that's what's happening that was a stretch goal for you right no like the docker based uh, tests were the stretch goal not the unit tests like the automated unit tests okay. they are the part docker based tests are, are based on gitlab 8 and they are different okay good so uh, okay interesting interesting th uh, thing chris do you want to add something um, I think we uh, we might need more time to work on um, the uh, fixing the automated tasks, but I'm okay. trying to help out. So uh, hopefully, with the two of us working together, we can complete on time. Okay, I forgot to research what was requ required to give some additional time. So, uh... like uh, the, the the issue with the the thing is like the github the gitlab plugin people who are using the gitlab plugin are complaining because of the things which have which have which was broken due to the due to the gitlab 16 changes so we need to do the automated test before releasing the plugin and once we release the plugin we have to like do some changes in the plugin so that it's compatible with gitlab 16 so that people stop complaining because we are we are getting issues and it's um chris is the maintainer 
<laughs> Either yeah. trouble. But that means that there are real people using uh, yeah. uh, these plugins, which is always so, so, interesting. And uh, someone's life is hell because of that. Like he was writing that his like his pipelines are broken or something, and he wants things to be faster. And GSOC is like blocking him. So we are kind of sandwiched between maintainable code and the GSOC. So yeah. But automated tests were important. I it, it's actually quite difficult to fix them because. It takes time to figure out what, what's wrong, but I and Chris are trying to do it as fast as possible. Majorly, like four or five classes of tests are creating the major major cause. Other than that, if if we are able to fix it uh, before the deadline, then it's then it's great. But if we are not, I don't know. We're we're going, we're going to see. We're going to discuss that uh, with your your mentors. Great. So thank you for the update. See, you have a lot of fun, and especially you're learning quite an, a, a lot of new stuff uh, with that. The next one on the row is Ashutosh. Hello, everyone. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Tell us. Yes. So uh, this week, uh, I had some uh, assignments for, to do for college, so I wasn't able to put that much hours. Uh, but now it's done, so I should be able to put uh, uh, right now, uh, today, tomorrow, and on weekend. And I, uh, I was working on updating the plugins uh, with GitHub Actions, uh, and that PR is almost complete. It's working correctly. Uh, I've just tested it. And last week, uh, I had a meeting with uh, Mark. Uh, and docs office hours uh, and mm -hmm. on how we expect expects me to integrate the uh, project into the Jenkins.io. So he he told uh, to create separate PRs for different tutorials uh, for this week. So for that, I had to ask him in this uh, week's meeting about how it will work because right now uh, we are using my own credentials in Docker Hub and other GitHub uh, credentials for uh, the and that was the that was the purpose of this PR to start that conversation to know what is required. So you started that. So, so because... first we'll uh, also need to uh, work with infra team, uh, and yeah. So first we'll we have to decide uh, first if we'll do it with, uh, work with infra team or docs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. because docs can't be done without inverting calls. But uh, okay, good. right now, Harsh, Harsh mentioned that uh, Mark is on holiday, so I just remembered that this week there will be no meeting. Yeah. The, the period is a little bit weird because Bruno, myself, have been off for some time. Uh, so also the meeting you have before this meeting here, I couldn't make it um so it's it's a little bit in between but i see beside your your college work uh you're uh, you're advancing that's that's a good thing chris you wanted to add something yeah i just wanted to add that the, the asia dogs of his hours is canceled this week oh why well, yeah so, mark is uh yeah uh, is uh, uh, the european time one on I can attend that one. Yep, I think so. Yeah, so that one's hosted by Kevin, so it's still on. Okay. I'll attend that one. Thank you, Chris. Other Mark than that, in... I will also be working. I will be testing if uh, I can use update CLI or depend about to just uh, in how it, how they work. Update. And... Yes. Yeah. Good. That That's sounds. Yeah. Great. So that sounds really good. Next one is uh, Vandit. Hi, John. Mark. Hi, everyone. What's happening? <laughs> yeah, uh, I've been uh, I've been here like I'm here after a long time. So hi, uh, I have my exams going on, and uh, I still have my exam on 19. But uh, we I had a really uh, big I had a really big uh, preparation uh, holiday. You can say around eight days. So I started working working there. So uh, yesterday, yesterday uh, we had a meeting with UX Sig, 
uh, UX, we had a meeting with UX where we demonstrated the UI UX changes to the to the team and uh, they, they they were really appreciative uh, they were, were really appreciating it and like they liked the design and the ui ux changes i did or uh, uh, other than that uh, chris and me uh, chris and me had a me had a meeting before that regarding how we are going to use strappy cms with gatsby because like uh, that is something that we changed during the during uh, while while gsoc was progressing so we we now know what we have what we need to do we'll be publishing we'll try publishing uh, the blogs on strappy uh, admin dashboard and uh, the, uh, and we'll create roles there so people like authors and authors and editor uh, editors which will be maintainers can uh, mm -hmm. submit blog posts there so there was there's that also uh currently currently we the we have we have an issue we are facing on jenkins.io we have over we have over 20 uh, we have over 12000 links and uh, we have we have we have over 12000 links and ostruct and entora references links completely differently so oh. we need so and that can't be aut automated so i'm manually doing that I'm like uh, I'm copying and replacing it. Uh, in, in I'm copying and replacing it in every file. But how how they are written? Like uh, uh, some have under some have backslashes, some have not. So I I have to do that manually. Uh, so because of that, maybe and like uh, I think we would require more time to complete that because we want to we want to pro we want to like uh, give a finished product to uh, to Jenkins. I want I, I and Chris want to. Uh, and other mentors too. So we'll be doing that. And I think we will need to take uh, around three more weeks for it. Uh, and I think the blo blogs and Gatsby part would be completed by then, but the Antora, uh, the linking part is the most difficult we are facing right now. Now, Vandit, you'll have to work hard to convince me that it can't be automated. You sure uh, of that that it can't be automated? It, you it, you discuss that with your mentors? Yeah, it can't be automated, uh, Mark, because uh, Entora does not use the slashes as a like you can't just copy path for the links. You have to you have to reference the link, reference the page, interpage linking uh, a page that exists in Jenkins.io. Uh, you if you want to reference another page to in a in your page. You'll have to do it something like we have components uh, and uh, co components colon uh, the the module in that component colon the page name dot ad hoc and if it contains us if you want to like if you want to redirect to a fragment of that page you'll have to add an hashtag and the name of the fragment and you'll have to add that fragment on the page where you will have that we'll have it as an ID to like reference it mm. so. It, like there's a there's a lot of work i have i have completed user documentation google summer of code pages um uh, sigs uh, but uh, here and there there are still some links that are not working and uh, last i checked it was around 1500 we are like uh, it was to it was it was 12000 we are down to 12 1500 now i have completed 500 this week uh, but uh, and i'll complete the rest of the 1000 this week and after that, we'll have to see the links that are not working. That is the main problem. We'll have to check each and every page and fix that. Yeah. Now, Even if you, you, yeah. You probably discussed that with your mentors, but uh, I, I have a natural reaction to saying when handwork or manual work is, you're too clever. I that no i'm not i'm not manually doing that i'm copying and replacing uh, the links that are like if we have a link to sig sig index page right. i'll i'll yeah. yeah i'll fix that so it's semi-automated yeah it okay semi-automated but Some... then i'll have to check if it's working because sometimes sometimes i okay. sometimes i mess up things and like sometimes it does not work or sometimes uh, I, I tried using reg i tried using regular expressions to like do automate it and i failed yeah. I created a test branch. I did that, and everything broke in my uh, locally on my machine. It uh, like all the links, oh, it it became a mess. Entire page. Okay, now I I trust your judgment. I trust the judgment of the mentors. Just it's it's a spontaneous reaction. 
So uh, yeah, but we'll, we'll fix that. We'll definitely fix that. <laughs> since we are okay, since I, from twelve thousand, we are down to thousand. So uh, so I think right. we can fix that. Okay. Just remember, if you need to do the same task three times, then automate it. It that automated. So anyway, yeah. So yeah, <laughs> I'm 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 literally I'm literally copying and replacing it everywhere in Jenkins dot io. That that repository, I'm I'm doing it everywhere. Then when I check, then I see oh, this link is only getting used in this page. I'll have to do it myself. That that is, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ash. Ours make it, making the comment here. We'll definitely complete it. We completed the events page. We were, previously we did not have the events calendar on the uh, repository the, on the project we are work, I'm working on. But now we have it with the help of with the help of Chris. He's a really help when things come to Ruby, because I right. I, I I don't I don't know anything about Ruby. I, I can understand it. I can understand we have classes there. But when if you ask me to do it in JavaScript. I won't be able to convert it. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, really so you you heard the message that, that I had. So it's looking good. You're making progress. Chris, yeah. is there something you'd like to add about that project? Yeah, I think there are some features we still need to convert from a Ruby to a JavaScript, like um the major end section, because like the yeah. code like used, it's kind of different, and the setup we have is different from the previously. So we may have to think about a way to like um, implement it, realize it. Good. Well done. So I see you're having a lot of fun. Arsh is jealous of your project, indeed. <laughs> yeah, when you, when you have a lot of work to do, you learn a lot. Be jealous. You should be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no problem. Uh, now, um, we discussed, uh, Alista and myself, about a possible date for the interim presentation. Currently, we're looking at um, September 21st. I, I like the Thursdays, so at this time slot. Um, and uh, uh, we would take one hour at that time. So the question, well, there's an expression in French that I'm not going to, to, to repeat, but the question for $1,000, does that date work for everybody? Or does somebody have an exam? Harsh has exams at that time. Go ahead, Harsh. Uh, is it September 21st, you said, right? Yeah. I have an exam. Ah, is there a, so Hashutosh, it works for you? Yeah, okay, yes, Vandit, it works. Okay, good. Yeah, it Vandit? works for me. Yeah, it works for me. Chakruti, would it work for you? It's yes, not too yes, late. it would work for me. No, fine. Okay, so, so Harsh, you're in minority. No, no, we're, we need to find, especially as you want to do it live uh, now. Do we have an alternate uh, to propose harsh? Like earlier I, or later, or I another day in a week? Like earlier, like I, if if you can before fifteenth, I would say because like um, before fifteenth, I'll be having exams, but it will be quizzes, and like quizzes don't have much weightage. But uh, between eighteenth and and twenty fourth. I'll be having the like uh, main examinations. They have more weightage, so I need to study for yeah, that. Yeah. I can I can I can manage the quizzes even if it clashes. I can manage the quizzes, so you can keep it before fifteen if you can. Otherwise, it, it's 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 kind of a messy situation. I am in like I have exams all over the place, like literally all over the place. Yeah, I have the impression trying to mix oil and water, so it needs a lot of shaking before that works. So yeah, I just uh, I just can't help it, uh, help with examinations. No, no, no. Like what's up? Oh, okay. Um, so the fourteenth would work for you, Harsh? Yep, it should. Or is it earlier? It should work. Again? It should work for me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's do a round again. Ashutosh, would the fourteenth work for you? 
Yes. It's fine. Okay. Vandit. Yeah, it works for me too. Okay, good. Chakruti. Yes, yes, it works for me. Sold, sold. Now, I hope the, the other one, so don't, don't move. Alisa, is 14 okay for you? Yes, the 14th works for me. Okay, then we'll settle for the 14. We'll discuss now the organization. We're now, it's in one month. So for me, that's good. And discuss with your mentors how to organize them. Good. Oof, that was work uh, to, to settle. Um, is there another subject? We have a pending subject that I need to work on is um, the people that need more time to complete their project. So we need to check with uh, Google uh, what can be done there. So we check. Are there other subjects that need to be clarified or? Harsh, go ahead. Yeah, so like regarding my project, like, it, it involves like getting the GitLab plugin to the production, right? So with when the like project deadline, according to the project deadline, it should be deployed till like uh, till the deadline, right? Or uh, am I responsible only to like, uh, like migrate the plugin and it can be deployed afterwards to the production? Yeah, I wanted to know about yeah, that. I need, to, I need to check that with the mentors. Raise that with the, the mentors. The mentors yeah. are responsible for... Uh, approving that the project is is done completed or uh, achieved is uh, its objectives so uh, okay. please raise that discussion with your your mentor and uh, if you have a problem or a conflict uh, reach out uh, to me uh, there okay another subject another tension point No? Okay. Well, that was also a busy, uh, a busy session today. I wish you then uh, nice work, nice learning, and uh, success for, uh, for next week then, and talk to you later next week. Okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Thank bye. you. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.